well, a couple hours later, I am in a better mood. Because <laughs> Carolina had maybe their best game of the playoffs. Maybe not. I think what makes this the best game in the playoffs is they did something that they struggled with, which Carolina fixing some mistakes they're making, which I touched on the last Eric interview. I don't want to yell about it again. Was the special teams. And they come in and the special teams won them this game for the first time in all 12 playoff games. Carolina. Carolina special teams get the job done. Not just a power play goal, a shorthanded goal. You love to see it. They, like, honestly, this is like a perfect home game, which Carolina really seems to have perfected. Like, they come in at home. They've come in strong. They finish their hits. They get in on the forecheck. They get the first goal of the game. They keep pushing. They get the second. Like, I've said it all before, because Carolina playoff games, while they've been fun to watch, even when we lose, I still like watching hockey. It's very similar. Like, they just, they, they have a routine, and the routine's good. It, in some ways, very good. In some ways, there's a lot to be desired in the way they played. I think my nitpick for this game specifically was Carolina forced a lot of offensive zone turnovers in the slot that they just couldn't capitalize on. And if Carolina can start capitalizing on those turnovers, it bodes very well for them. It just does. So you have that, Carolina, you know, they, and then, you know, they play well, they play tight defensively, they play Carolina Hurricanes hockey, which I've said before. I think the first time they legitimately got outplayed all playoffs was game four of uh, last game, which is what made me so mad was I felt like they regressed. I think they took two steps forward to their one step backwards because their special teams came in firing. And Carolina, once again, when they play Carolina Hurricanes hockey, not many teams can play with them. The Rangers cannot handle Hurricanes hockey. The Bruins couldn't handle Hurricanes hockey. They just got to keep doing it. And, I mean, that that's like, I mean, yeah, like there are mistakes I've talked about. Being strong on the stick in your slot when you're in the defensive zone, of course, you know, special teams. But here's the thing. I don't, I, hopefully this doesn't mean I have to say special teams anymore. Because, well, yeah, special teams are, um have been bad and one game may not change that it can i think i remember if you don't remember some of you might be too young to remember but the 2006 playoffs the edmonton oilers power play was dead all playoffs and everything game five they scored a shorthanded goal and their special teams just took off this moment felt eerily similar to that moment from the 2016 Stanley cup finals where the oilers special teams came alive during the Stanley Cup final at a random play. I mean, theirs was game five overtime. Carolina was a shorthanded goal and then a power play goal. They still gave up a power play goal, but I'll take the shorthanded goal because I felt like that really got the momentum going. Martin coming in, having missed the lineup. I don't like the fact that Lorenz was out. I felt like Lorenz had a very good game uh, in game four. However, and I think I've said game four was the first game that got blown out. If not, I meant game four, not game three. But yeah, or got outplayed. But yeah, Carol, but Martina comes in, then he lays the big hits. We needed that. I feel like, yeah, you know, Martina, I know, got criticized a lot in round one, and honestly, on some level, deservedly so. But he came in, came back from injury, and he played Jordan Martina hockey. Now, is he someone I want to see on the first line? Probably not, but is he a perfect fourth-line player for us, other than maybe Brock McGinn, the best this core has had? Absolutely. So, Jordan Martinuk just loved the energy he brought this game. And, you know, for someone who has been rightfully criticized this playoffs in the past, absolutely deserves it. Deserves, I feel like, the praise that I'm giving him tonight, because he comes in and, you know, plays the way Jordan Martinuk should be playing hockey. Then you have another player who oh, I'm going to give Hurricane of the Game. Actually, no, I'll get into Hurricane of the Game in a minute. But Antti Ranta, once again, plays spectacularly. I think if there's one player that's consistently had a great game every game, it's been Antti Ranta and Tomo Turovainen. I feel really bad that I haven't given him Hurricane of the Game yet. He's the Hurricane's leading scorer, but he's always like the third or fourth consistently best Hurricane on the ice every game. Some other guys fluctuate. 
He's just consistently third or fourth best. And it goes unnoticed by me, and I think other people, but mostly by me so far. I want to give him Hurricane of the Game, but unfortunately, again, I think there was two guys that played, had a better game than Toivo Teravainen. However, it is worth noting just how consistently, quietly good Toivo's been this playoff series. So, shout out to Toivo Teravainen. Uh, they did take some dumb penalties, too. I will say that. Um, coming back into coming back a little bit, I did think of a criticism because I do think it is good to compliment games they won and insult games that and find ways to improve in games you won. Ian Cole and Sveshnikov took two bad penalties. However, Carolina overcame one. The Ian Cole penalty, not so much, but they won the hockey game. They played through it, which is what you got to do. Adversity happens in every hockey game, and they played through it. So, and Ian Cole, I think after that had a good night. So, yeah, you know, it, it happens. That That's the kind of thing where, you know, it's not a huge deal. But, yeah, d don't take dumb penalties, please. But yeah, on the hurricane of the game. And, you know, there were a lot of players who played well. Andrei Svechnikov, I think, had a phenomenal game. Scored a goal for the first time since game six against Boston. Been someone who I don't think has had a bad game, but has performed underwhelming in terms of putting up points on the stat sheet. He gets the goal that really iced the game because you really felt if Carolina scored, the Rangers weren't going to be able to come back on to, from two on the road for Carolina. So, yeah, Andrei Svechnikov um, comes in. So, and then Hurricane of the Game, I feel like their push at the start of the game was the most important, and that was Vincent Trocek. I feel like when he got that shorthanded goal, every player on the team came alive. And I feel like that's what makes his the most important. I feel like Vincent Trocek was the most important hurricane of the ice this game. Of course, getting a shorthanded goal, honestly, in my book, that almost automatically means that player's going to get hurricane of the game. But tonight, I really do feel like because Svechnikov got better as the game went on. Seth Jarvis played amazing. Sebastian Ajo, I think, got better as the game went on. But I feel like that initial push was really led by Vincent Trocek. So Vincent Trocek, hurricane of the game. And, you know, let's fucking go, boys. We got... Why am I blanking? <laughs> Seven down, nine games to go. We are less... We are in single digits, baby. Let's go.